All right. Come on, everybody. You already know what time it is. Well, actually, it's a different time because uh, I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing something a little different. Uh, I've been getting in some products lately, and I thought of a creative way to really get it out to all of you is by going live and doing some unboxing and sharing my first impression of particular products. So with that said, this is the first live stream where I'm doing just that. Uh, I do have an awesome live stream coming up on Monday. Okay, that's two days. I'm going to be doing a photo shoot at a beautiful rose garden, and um, I'll be shooting with model Venusa. So you definitely want to check out for that. I'll be posting the upcoming live stream um, uh, probably today, if not tomorrow morning. So go check that out. And then tomorrow I have a fashion show. I'm going to try to live stream during that fashion show. Um, but, uh, we'll hopefully the reception, it'll make it worth the while, but nonetheless, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe smash. You already know it smash that. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. That's right. Smash that like button. Um, Make sure you hit the bell icon to get notifications for my upcoming content because I'm going to be going live a lot more. So today, as you may have noticed with the title, I'm going to be unboxing and sharing my first impression of the... Come on now. Yeah. Of the Flashpoint R2 Nano Trigger. Check that out right there. Now, I want to give a big shout out to my homie, Anthony Good or A Good for those that may know him on YouTube. Thank you very much for letting me borrow this from him. Yeah, thank you very much. I think Randy Savage uh is actually very excited about this unboxing. Oh yeah. Yes, it's been confirmed. He is excited. So, um but with that said, we're going to unbox this bad boy for you and um I uh, to be honest, okay, let me just be honest with all of you. <laughs> I've already used it. Yeah, that's right. I used it yesterday during a headshot session for a client and um, just to kind of like see what I liked about it, don't like about it. So I'll give you a little bit more in-depth review. So yes, this is my initial take because there are some things on there that I didn't go through and check out. So hopefully we could dig some of that stuff out. I'm also going to compare it with the old Godox slash uh, flashpoint triggers. I have two of them, so we could check over those, and then you can see the size differences and everything else. Okay. So if you have any quick comments, make sure you post them down below. All right. Don't be cheap. Feel free to comment away. Uh, I see we already got a couple here. Uh, nano, nano. That's right. <laughs> it's like Mork and Mindy. Nano, nano. Um, thank you, EF. And uh, we have Cooley, too small. Hey, man, let me tell you about this, Cooley. This trigger is actually really, really cool. It's really cool. So I'm going to show you some and maybe some reasons why I think it's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to pick one up. They seem to be like a two-week wait. If you order it through Adorama or um, or um, Amazon, because Amazon has the Godox version, uh, it, they all seem to be about two-week wait for those who may want to know. Uh, and that's what she said. Uh-oh. <laughs> there you go, EF. Um, so with that said, let's get to the main event, shall we? Come on. All right. Here we are. Okay. Let me turn on. Uh, let me make this light a little bit better and brighter. There we go. How's that? That's a little bit better, right? Cool. Okay, so here we are. There's the box. Pretty small. There's my A temp, so I can't move that. Uh actually, that's a very good whoops. Here we go. That's a very good point, EF. Uh, always order through Adorama because of warranty. 100 percent You go wave your fist and kick some rocks over at Adorama, so it's best to go through them. So thus, the Flashpoint is exactly the same. Absolutely nothing different from the Godox. Same everything. Size, little packaging inside, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So don't worry. All right. Let's get back to it. Um, all right. So we have the Nano here. This one is for Nikon. All right? For no, At no surprise, I do most of my flash photography with Nikon, so of course it's going to be 
with Nikon. So here we are. I'm going to open this bad boy up. And um, here we go. So that's what's inside the box. All right. It's just an empty box right there. Put that down. So we have this nice little carrying case, which is the first time I've ever seen a carrying case come with any Flashpoint or Godox triggers. Okay. So that's nice. It's actually kind of like a semi-hard shell just for those that care. And I don't know why you have this. Maybe you just want to attach it to something, but it's there. And then there you go. Oh, let me see if I have something that's like reminiscent of, of, of doves. There we go. And here it is. There's the bottom of it, right? There's your pins, obviously for Nikon for this one. Has a little built. We all know it has a built-in battery. Um, there's the USB-C port right there. There's your flash button. There's your on off switch right there. You just got to hold it like for two seconds. Hey, oh, there we go. Let's everybody give a big shout out to, to Anthony for allowing me to, uh, do this unboxing. Cause this is his actually, who would have thought, right? Whoops. But he allowed it. He insisted. He said, hey, man, go do this. So I'm here to do this right here because of him. Thank you, Anthony. Yeah, thank you very much. So um, right here is one of the menu buttons. And, oh, the charge time. We're going to get to all that. We're going to get to all the uh, particulars in a second. Okay. I just want to give you, like, show you what it is. And then I'll, I'll get to the specs and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, but it charged very quick when I when I charge it, it. Of course, it came like halfway charged. But when I put it in there, it charged pretty dang fast. I think it's like um, 15 minutes will give you 80, uh, 80 percent. OK, so that's pretty quick. It's really fast. Um, all right. So let's put this box away. Put the case. So here it is. And then um, just so that you can see. Oh, shoot. Give me a second. Something tipped over. Ugh. Got a lot of stuff going on here. All right. So now let's go ahead. Attach it to the camera. This is my um, Z8. Take that off. I don't need that. So there we are. That's it. With it attached, let me brighten this up a little bit here. Um, there we go. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Cool. Let me know if you can see the details of the camera and everything. Everything's black. You know what? I got to take this off for my next video so you can see the, because it's white underneath. It's a lot easier for you to see. Yeah, I'll do that next time. I apologize. Anyway. All right. So we have this, um, and it's a real low profile. Look how small that is. Look how small that is. All right. A really nice tight profile. And let's turn it on. Okay. Boom. So I already put it to English, but you would have to go to the main menu and make sure that you uh, switch it to English. You go to settings and then you go here. Because it's, it's in Chinese at first. Yes, even the Adorama one, it, it, by default, if you reset the settings, it's it's Chinese. So, um, yeah, make sure you go go switch that. Chinese, Japanese, whatever it is. But either way, it's not English. So you just go right to the globe, and then you make sure you press it on English, and then you're good to go. Okay? Now, um, there's let's start from the top. You have your wireless. You have your sync. You have your uh, shoot, okay, one shoot or all shoot. Oop, let me go back. Uh, you have your timer, I'm guessing. Oh, no, that's the power, excuse me. And then you have your, uh, I'm reading this upside down. You have your step right there. Okay. And then you have uh, 
your trigger distance. Right, zero to 30 meters or one to 100 meters. Your TCM. You can set that right there, all touch screen. Or you can use, uh, I think you could, okay, it won't use it here. Usually you could use a click dial to go through the menus, but either way, you could do it there. I'm just go back to off. I use the M button on the side to go back a menu. The M button, you go back to main. I'm guessing that's what it's called or what it's for. Then we have your screen, brightness. Okay, so this, whoops. And then, oh, that's a standby. And then let's go 15 seconds, one minute, et cetera. I just kept it on default for the uh, 15 seconds. Reserve battery. You have the, ultimately, if you want to reset to, uh, to default, factory default right there. And then you have device info, which helps you with the which firmware you have. Okay. So let's go back. Go back. All right. Now here. You can increase all of the channels by pressing up or minus at the same time if they're all grouped together. So right now I have it on channel, what channel do I have it on? Channel 21, I don't think I would have ever chosen that. I think that's the default. So, cause I, di I reset it right before I went live. Um, okay, hold on. We got a couple of questions here. Uh, we got, wow, awesome. And then uh, Cooley says, how hard to use it when uh, on a camera while doing a shoot. Absolutely not hard at all. Absolutely not hard at all. It's actually much faster. It's much faster to get to things because as soon as I'm here, I could just press and then um, if I want, I can use a dial or uh, I can, look, I can do that to change the power of that ki of that flash. Or if I don't want to go through all the dials, right? I can just, once I click on it, whoop, here we go. I can just slide my finger across. See how I'm sliding it full power all the way down to 125, uh, 256th of a power. So it could be very quick. If I need, when I was shooting yesterday, um, you know, since this is all wireless, I can literally control, I controlled all three of my lights, my hair light, fill light, and, and, and key light all by just sliding my finger across. And it's very intuitive, very responsive. Um, quite honestly, since the, the old ones were roughly what, $59? This one's 30 more dollars than the old one. It's a no brainer. Look how little it is. It's super light. You don't feel it on there at all. And it's not as, um, you know, adds too much bulk or whatever as the old ones. Okay. Um, now you can add Right here, this button, that one right there is where you add more channels. So you could say, oh, okay, I just want E, I just want C, cool. And you go back, and now you have them right there. Now you can press up to control them all. Whoop, let me go back. There we go. All right, so you can just press. Oh, there's, the, there's that. Cool. Okay, let me just switch it to 256. Cool. Now, see how they all move together? So if you just need to make micro adjustments, you can. There we go. Where's the, uh, oh. Cool. I actually really like it. Oh, okay. Let me catch up to some of these here. Yes, it is pretty awesome. I'm actually going to end up getting one, quite honestly. If I just wish, uh, here it is. I wish that it wouldn't take so long in terms of um, getting it. I would order it. I don't feel like waiting two weeks. I'm waiting for the supply, but 
that's just me. I don't know why. Uh, Paul says, hey, I like your channel. Greetings from Germany. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Really appreciate it. Uh, you make amazing pictures and very cool live streams all the time. What do you think about Nikon buying red recently? Oh, Paul, I've I've done two live streams dedicated to that. I'm ecstatic for the uh, let me let me see if I go back to here. There we go. I'm ecstatic personally about the move by Nikon because honestly, um, I love cinema. I love cameras and um, it's a smart move. Uh, less uh, in uh, investment in R&D. They don't have to reinvent the wheel. The our, uh, Red already has uh, is synonymous with quality and an industry professional cinema camera. So they don't need to remarket that and spend millions of dollars on that. Um, I just think that they should make a Z mount <laughs> available as well as a PL mount. And I know the RF I think is there. So, But with all that said, I think it's a phenomenal move. And some of that tech and the tra um, is going to be able to be leaked into the higher end Nikon Z cameras, which I'm excited about. So it, it only could benefit them. And I think it actually kind of uh, opens the door of possibilities for Red too. So I hope they just keep the name, keep it exactly the way it is. It, it, it's a top tier cinema camera. So it's like they don't really need to um, uh, do away with it or anything like that. So I think it's a great plus. All right, let's get back to it. Um, all right, touchscreen so much better. Absolutely. And it's really responsive. It really, really is. So you can see right here, if I want to get to channel E, I go right there and then slide my finger across. And that's all I need to do in order to uh, uh, set my settings. And if you didn't like it, you can just press this button in as I did. And then you can just go right there. If you want something more um, tactile, right? A little physical response, you just do this and then you're good to go. Okay. Press it in and now you're in now you're you're now you're back in a you're back in a uh you're back in a race. Okay. Uh let's see here. What's up Rob? Hey Adrian. Uh Thank you very much for for uh commenting and checking checking out the channel. Uh I have all the Godox triggers. About time they use some 21st century materials. Absolutely. Um now, speaking on that real quick, let me show you all the old ones. I only have two of them, but here are the other ones. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, these are the other ones. This one is the, which Godox is this one? I think, yeah, this one is, oh, here we go. X Pro, X Pro N, I'm guessing for Nikon. Okay, and then we have the X. T, uh, X2TN right here. Okay. So I think this one's a little bit older and this one came out right after it. They both use that archaic LCD screen, right? We all know this one really archaic. Okay. Look at this, not touch screen. It's like my Game Boy. Everybody remember Game Boy? That's what it reminds me of. Do, 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 right. And you can quickly get to your channels. That's why I like this one because you can quickly get to your, to your, um, not your channels, your, um, at least your groupings. But either way, I did A, B, and C. So this was really a nice way to get to it. But still, yeah, it's not the business. And then we have this one here, which is, I, I found was more reliable connected to Z cameras, this one, um, than this one was. So, Yes, you can get to all everything you need. You know, this flash, that flash. I'd use hair light was always on E for me. So this one is still good. Nothing wrong with it. It's tried and true. But look at that touch. Look at that screen, though. It's very 19, um, what would it be? 90 <laughs> or 1989, whenever the Game Boy came out. That's what it reminds me of. Um, but it is very reliable trigger. It really is. It is a reliable, so I, I can't crap on it or anything. It does what I need it to do. It's reliable. But look at the size difference. Look at the size difference of all these. Okay. It's not even It's not even on the same stratosphere of the new Nano. Okay. It's about two and a half times the size, width and height. So, quite honestly, the price is very fair. 89 bucks. 
how much is a um how let, let, let's let's see how much is a um pro photo trigger pro photo All right let me look this up if my computer would decide to work with me pro photo flash trigger All right let's just see oh it's a three it's an easy 399 dollars there's one for 249 and I'm not sure what this is but average is 249 okay so for whoever is complaining about this being $89 honestly you know it's probably too cheap to uh be a photographer okay cuz if a pro photo is 249 you could buy you know damn near three of these okay so and with the new technology OLED display it's super bright cuz I was shooting and there was tons of natural light inside the studio very responsive as I said, 15 minutes of charge gives you 80% of battery life. It charged really quick. That was the thing for me. I thought it was fake. I thought something was going on because it it went to full real fast. And um, I just kept it in there for another hour because I didn't I did I thought it was too fast. Anyway, uh, but these are the triggers. Here's another reference, everyone. Here's my iPod. Um, let's move that over there. My iPod case. Right, my little iPod. Look at the size. It's, I think it's smaller. Right? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that that looks smaller. Smaller than my iPod case. They should talk about that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. And then uh, I always I wanted to do this. Let's see this. This is a quarter. Check out this quarter. All right. So. One and a half times the quarter, something like that, right? Yeah, give or take, maybe two quarters. But either way, that's pretty. That's pretty small. It's pretty impressive. Here it is over here. Pretty impressive. USB C charged. No more double A's. Cause man, I've gotten to a point where I had to uh, uh, get rechargeable double uh, double A batteries all the time. So this is. This is much, uh, you know, it will save the planet in my pocket. So shout out to that. Um, so when you do press the trigger or the test, the flash, it, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it lights red. It lights red. Let me see if I turn off this overhead light. Will that help? There we go. See if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. See that? Yeah. So that's letting you know. Does it do anything on the top? I don't see any, there's nothing on the top that I see on the screen, but for sure this turns red when you press that button, okay? Again, the menu as well as the power, hold it for two seconds. This is just like a menu dial, okay? You can switch, okay, cool, and then move down. And then if you want to add more channels or take away channels, you just click on that. And you say, you know what? Forget it. Let me just use the one. And then boom, now you're there. It's very responsive. I, this is really 89 bucks. Now I do, of course, um, now, uh, of course, I do have a link to the Godox version in the description section down below. But let's go over some of the uh, specs after I check out some of these here comments, okay? Um, yes, it's the X Pro. Thank you very much. I, I, I had a, a little brain aneurysm going on uh by far godox triggers are the best bang for the buck exactly for for 89 dollars, you can't beat it it's really really a good price okay uh let me fix my camera what the heck is going on here there we go Ooh, i get i gotta have anyway i have I have my composition looking right uh ef uh when in a pinch use your cell phone to change the r2 nano USB-C. Ooh. Use your cell phone to change the R2 Nano. Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty cool. I haven't checked that out. It's probably through the app, I'm guessing. Right, EF? It's probably, it's probably through, the, through the app. So that's pretty dope. Um, I do want to bring up... Let's go over some of the specs, shall we? Uh, no, I don't have that. Do I have a cool sound effect for changing it? You know what? Let's use this. All right, let's check out some of the specs, shall we? Ah, uh, yes. We're going to switch over and read these specs, the features, all the particulars that someone's going to eventually comment uh, on my video about. 
shall we? All right, here we are. All right, so we're on Adorama's uh, website right here. here. And as you can see, it's the Flashpoint R2 Nano touchscreen for Nikon, because that's the one I'm using, uh, or borrowing, rather, from Anthony. Shout out to him, okay? And um, so, as we said earlier, it's 89 bucks. can't beat it. So, specifically designed for Nikon cameras due to the pins, right? And then um, remote re redefines control, blah, 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 OLED display. Thankfully, that's awesome. And it's super bright and crisp. Uh, powered by long-lasting rechargeable internal battery. Remote offers uh, extended use on a single charge. The device is sleek, compact design. Oh, da, 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 da. Let's see if there's like let's 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 find some more stuff that actually matters. Um, da, 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 da. Vibrant, yes, we know. Just swipe and tap, yes, we saw. Okay, here we go. Compact size, weight of only forty eight grams, so it's definitely not going to add anything to your kit. It's not going to add any weight to your kit. Supports TTL flash. Okay. High speed sync, awesome. Up to one eight thousandth of a second. There you go. So most of our mirrorless cameras will be just fine using this one. Um, OLED display, as we said earlier. There's also screen locking function to prevent you mistakenly touching it, which which is a real cool feature. Which is a real cool feature. Um, precision at your fingertips, yada yada. Two way TCM allowing for instant and effortless conversion between TTL and manual mode. Okay, that's cool. Enjoy the convenient swift transitions, giving you the flexibility to adapt to different shooting scenarios. All right, moving on down. Oh, the hot shoe clips on really, really well. Hold on, let me show this because they're talking about it right here. Um, check this out right here. So there's a button. There's like a nice button right there. Let me see if you guys can see it. Nice little button. Okay. You do that and then you take it off. It slides on very easily. And to put it back on, you're putting it back on. And there you go. It locks really well. Okay. Push. And then you can take it right off. But uh, it doesn't move at all once it's on there, which is which is to be expected. But glad it actually doesn't, okay? So anyway, let's get back to the specs. Um, Cool. Sorry, let me get to this window. So obviously the 2.4 gigahertz R2 seamless connection. So therefore all of your Godox slash Flashpoint triggers will be able to be used with this without any worry because I just tested mine. I used the uh, Flashpoint 8600, and then I used um, – I had the 8600s, and then I had the uh, Godox 8200. So – and they all work perfectly. Zero flaws, zero um, lag. Nothing was wrong with it. It worked just fine with all of them. And I'm assuming they'll work fine with my MS 300s too, because I have four of those. Uh, uh, your shoots your way, yada yada. Take control, da 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 da. Here we go. Now this is actually something important. <laughs> Quick charge, always ready. Equipped with a built-in rechargeable battery. We already knew that. Hassle-free power on the go. USB-C port. Swiftly charges zero to one hundred percent in two hours. Okay, two hours. That's really quick. Especially if you're driving from location to location, I'll just plug it right into my cigarette that you like next to my cigarette port in my car. I have a USB um, port, plug it in there, and you just keep it going. And that's a really, really cool function. Everybody in the world has a USB cord somewhere. So you just plug that in, you're good to go. Uh, additionally, seamless firmware updates can also be performed through the USB seat. So just check out for, uh, I'm guessing, at Adorama. For more updates, if there is any, and if not, you know, maybe Godox, I guess. But that's really cool. I know uh, when I I, uh, I saw somewhere it was like 18 minutes, not 18 minutes, 80 percent after 15 minutes. So it's like it's really quick. It really, really is. So with all that said, I do want to show you guys this one here too. 
All right. Let me make sure you guys can see that. All right. So now we're on Amazon. All right. We're on Amazon. And you can see here's the Godox version. It's exactly the same as the um, Adorama version. But the warranty you're only going to really be able to rely on with this one is going to be whatever a Amazon is going to give you. So 30-day return policy, etc. But here it is. There's the Godox version. Exactly the same. Nothing is different. Even the price is the same. But as you can see, we have about a two-week wait if you want it. Free delivery, though. But two-week wait. I, I'm guessing for Amazon uh, Prime. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, with all that said, uh, let's check out any last minute. Uh, oh, you meant charge. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, yes, yes, change. Okay, charge. Okay, copy that. And then EF, that too, cell phone camera trigger. Exactly, exactly. I haven't used their their wire, uh, their cell phone app too much, but I'm sure, I, at least I hope it worked really good. So shout out to Godox and their triggers. I mean, in their uh, mobile apps. Not every company makes great mobile apps. Let's just be honest, okay? Uh, they need a few rounds, few tests, and enough people that want to use it and and start yelling about it. Maybe they get off their button, update it. Um, all right. So with all that said, okay, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to go check out the, the trigger for yourself, I have my Amazon link down below. You can also go check it out on Adorama. Okay. They have it there. Uh, $89, I think is more than fair for what it delivers. Cause again, as I said, some of these older ones, okay. Were, um, look at how dusty that is. This one here, the X Pro, and then I have the XT2, and these both were about $59, $69, okay? So about $30, $20 to $30 more, dollars, you're getting a much better, smaller, compact, and more modern um, trigger. So and if you use studio flashes, whether it be for wedding portraits, uh, product photography, um, what else, uh, uh, headshots, et cetera, family portraits, then this is really honestly a no brainer. We spend almost the same amount for a battery. Okay. You get a Nikon battery. It could cost close to that anyway. So anyway, I really am grateful that you all hung out with me during this random unboxing. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about going live and bringing you my first impression of this particular product. Do you, would you enjoy me doing this more often? Cause I would love to, I have another cool product. I'd love to show all of you. And, um, but regardless, either way, you already know if you enjoyed this video, that's right. Well, live stream, right? Really? If you enjoyed this uh, live stream and you would like to see more, don't forget to press that like, that share, to subscribe, and yes, hit that bell icon to get notification for my upcoming uh, content. Now, also, real quick, if you are looking to attend any of my workshops, I have a webinar and an in-person photography workshop, head on over to robertsilverphotography.com, Silver, Robert click workshops for more details, and yes, please, feel free to sign up to my newsletter to receive regular updates, discounts to those workshops, and exclusive invites to my upcoming photo walks okay you have to sign up to my newsletter to find out more about that so with all that said i will see you next time thank you for tuning in